Hey, Marcus, what time is it? <laughs> I don't have a watch. You don't have a watch? It's about 8 o'clock, right? Roughly. I don't know. You don't know. Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and we are on site at a job. And we, as in me and my sons, this is kind of a, me coming by, one, to do video, two, an inspection on the progress that's made and share a video about the progress that's made with this project. Now, this is the uh, location I did the whole walkthrough and show how we do a build out and how we do the bidding. So I'll link to the video. It's just, I don't really want to call this part two because it's not. It's going to be a little bit progress on this project. For those of you who kind of wonder what goes on here at Lawrence Systems, what we actually do, and I'm not just making tutorial videos, um, but I'm starting in what was the kitchen area. And it's funny because when you look at the before and after videos or pictures, uh, it's dramatically different. This place was just raw and very unfinished before. So we've got a lot of our work done and a lot of things hung up. And I mean, I'm actually a little lost walking around because I'm looking around at everything and yeah, this place is big. So my son said, and now we're sorting out kind of the stages of it. So this is a update video, not only on the project, but about what happens during these projects. So first we came in, we bid, we wired, there was a lack of a ceiling. There's a ceiling now. And as we went through and did all that, we have to coordinate with the different vendors and contractors, especially for the part that's going on right now, which is all the cubicles. You can't just drop the cubicles in because the problem is the cubicles all need to be wired and the wiring is going to go inside of them. And so we've had to coordinate and it's not done yet. This is all, there's some of it just kind of on the floor. We have to get the ends and they just now put these wall plates in the or floor, uh, floor cans, I'm sorry, not wall plates, floor cans in. And now that those are in, we're going to have to come up and put through and put little jacks on there. And I don't think these are the cubicles that have it. Maybe I'm not looking at the right ones, uh, but there's going to be, oh, here they are. Look, I grab some of these. These are what it looks like on the ends. You just put the keystones on here and there's another part of the desk that these are going to snap into. And you can kind of see kind of like an umbilical cord, how each one of these is on there and has a metal conduit on it. And a metal conduit is obviously to people, because um, when it's on the floor, you know, people kick stuff and uh, that's not acceptable. And, you know, we know as IT, we're like, how many times have you looked under a desk and seen it tore up? So they did a really nice job on doing it that way. So it's not going to be all messed up. That's interesting. Oh, that's cool. They have a little phone booth. You know, we got away from phone booths. And now they have a phone booth, or I don't know what it is. It's a silence booth. Oh, I'm gonna go in here. Oh, wow. I, I don't know if you can hear the difference, but there is no ambient outside noise now. I think my camera filters out somewhat, but that's really cool. All right, let's carry on. I want one of these now. I'm gonna have to find out what this is called. Snap cab, it says on the top there. So this is a snap cab. All right, on to the interesting part where we ran all the wires. So in the other video, we talked about how we set up all the uh, wiring and did all the looming and get everything done to bring it all to the one central place. So now all that's obscured, everything's hung up, nothing's laying on ceiling tiles. I talked about how we had to put the J hooks in and everything else, and now, we're buttoning up the details. Now, this requires also us to come back and forth at different times. And my crew is actually still here working. One, because of punching. Two, it's about scheduling all these times. One of the things we have to do when we schedule times like this is coming at night is easier for us because there's no one in our way doing this. So they're here during the day getting partial assemble done. They let us know where we're at and then we come in and put the finishing touches, if you will, on there. So let's go in the wiring room and server comm room and go from there, which I'm turned around as to where it is. I think right it's there. over there. All right. Now what before looked like a giant mess it's still, is, it's still a giant mess. <laughs> but uh, Corey's over here. He's got some of this punched down. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to kind of look up in that ceiling and show you how we did those cable falls. So that it's still bundled up there because some of it's got to come back down, but you can see how we have the hooks in there. I can't really get up there to show you where we went over the um, HVAC and everything else, but you kind of get the idea and you can see how it came around. We went over it at a beam level, so it wasn't even a factor. And then what we did is we come around with these 400, foot, uh, 400 pound rated J hooks and we mounted them to 500, 500 pound rated uh, 
beam clamps and that's only because that's all you can buy really to hold that much wire up and uh, that basically will support all of that wire and then we doubled them up at the ends where the waterfall comes down so that way if, if one comes loose or anything of the sort it's just not going to be an issue in the future or knock your ceiling down um, you know it's just future precautions and you know basically keeping it up to code yeah so that way it's you know we want to make sure it's extra solid in case they ever add more uh, there's also the split unit behind us. I'd mentioned that in the beginning. We um, put that in this morning. Yeah, they, well, I just got that in this morning, it's so. Not even operating yet. Today's a good day to come out here. <laughs> it's a lot done. <laughs> yeah, and once the servers go in here, that's why you need something like a split unit to get, um, well, all the cooling that goes on in here. Yeah, you know, I've been in calm rooms where it's been almost 110 degrees before. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> all right, now last time we talked about that underground part and was that a pain in the ass? Oh, you know, you have to schedule with the suite below you because they're operational. They're not <laughs> in, in any kind of you know construction phase or anything like that. So basically, what you're looking at is you got to schedule with these guys to get into their suite. And the day they scheduled, uh, a lot of people were going home early, so they didn't want to let us in. So they actually had to keep a security guard on staff for an extra couple hours, and, and he didn't really enjoy being there. <laughs> Yeah, so we had to go down there, get the ceiling tiles out because uh, it was drilled through there. And that's just yeah. part of it. Uh, that was one of those things. I know there was a lot of comments on the last video about, well, how exactly do you do that? And it's not, ex there's no, I, you just contact the suite. You're like, guess what? Bad news. Physical contact, you know, you got to go in there and talk to them. Talk to them, them know what schedule you have it, to do. make it happen. So um, other than that, we're going to walk back into the comm room. Uh, Corey's actually got a lot of this punched. And I've been working at it for about two days solid yeah. now and this is a this is day three starting out and from a distance obviously it all looks like a mess and you might be able to see slightly there's actually labels on all this that's how we uh, know where everything gets punched to actually with one like this because there were so many different kinds of wire and so many different directions we were running we meticulously labeled down to the station which is cubicle stations down to the room numbers down to underground or above ceiling uh, Wi-Fi TV camera I mean everything was separately labeled it was very meticulous and it paid off like like a hundred points you know I mean it, it, it's just making it no guesswork at all yep. we're actually starting from port number one in the IT desk and we work all the way around the world through the whole suite and we'll end up at 189 for data and then TVs and cameras then WAPs so I mean it's, it's so once really it's paid off. once it's all on here everything's gonna be exactly organized that way in the rack where each section is the different section for TVs, yeah. the Wi-Fi access points. That's what's, Absolutely. It's all that pre-planning. That's the biggest trick to this. Well, it looks messy like a bunch of wires hanging down. Every one of these, as they were pulled in groups, were labeled to figure out where they're coming from and Numerous brought all labels, back here. too. I can show you right here how we did it, is we label each individual wire what it was, and then we come back, and like this is Southwest Hall. That's a whole additional stuff that we got added, and then each one comes down, and then where the end of the whip is, we have them labeled off into room numbers, and then if they went into room numbers, if they didn't go into room numbers, it's station numbers or door contacts with the electric feed for the door contact uh, like I said it was really broken down you could see here's another wide band with a lot of little bands around it uh, there's some that have up to three bands but most of them have been punched already and cut away yeah so he's he's knocking it out here and getting it done so yeah it's looking good that's the kind of the status update on his project um, I brought my sons, he wanted to know what I do for a living. It's Niagara Falls. It's Niagara Falls, man. <laughs> it's, it's a just, waterfall. It's a waterfall of stuff. <laughs> it really is. That's what they refer to it as. Yeah. All right, so I wanted to put a little end cap on the video now that I'm back here at the office and wanted to highlight one thing. One, this is a little bit of the challenge of doing these wiring projects, you know, filming them. And because we're not there continuously until it's done, we're there on an as needed basis based on the schedule set by the general contractor, when each step needs to be done and what time slot we fit into for which step of the project there is. You know, the initial part before the ceiling was there, putting up all the different support structures and running the wire, then coming back after certain drywall people and coming back again after the people who put in all the cubicles, like all the furniture assemblers are there, but we have to do that in between because the furniture is partially assembled, at least it's there, and we're gonna have to put, like I've shown, 
those keystones on that eventually will end up in boxes underneath there for hooking everything up. And then the final step will be uh, us going back and putting, you know, even labels on the furniture to make sure everything matches and lined up again. So there's a lot of steps involved in terms of, you know, making this whole project work. It becomes kind of a challenge unless you have time to put a film crew on it. And I just don't um, for having all my contractors out there to get this done. But let me know in the comments below or over on the forums what else you would like to see added to some of these wiring videos. Um, but I will admit, this is something that I think Corey alluded to, but I can concrete up a little bit here. The scope did change. Now I mentioned in the how we bid these jobs projects that yes, you have to come up with a per drop price. This makes it easy because no matter how many clients tell you, I think this is all the drops they'll ever need, they need more. And as the projects, you know, got closer to completion, they added quite a few more drops. That part is really easy. The other thing you have to make sure is figuring out what is or is not in scope. So a couple things out of scope. Originally, we were supposed to put these just on the floor and it was changed to now we have to put them into the cubicles. No problem. Problem, something we can do. We just have to let them know immediately, and this is just having clear communication all the time with the client. Yes, we can do that. Yes, there's more labor involved. If you'd like us to be the ones putting the little, you know, biscuit boxes and snapping keystones in instead of on a floor plate, but into and feeding them into the uh, cubicles and the way the structures are set up, that's more labor than just running a drop because you have to run the drop, then you bring the drop into the cubicle and get around under the desk. So some people just leave them at the wall. Sometimes they do have furniture that has built-in jacks. That means more labor on our part. You just have to be upfront with the client and then adjust accordingly. The biggest thing is don't surprise them with some bill at the end. Don't just add it on the bill. Let them know, let them make a decision because maybe they want to plug it in themselves or maybe they want you to plug it in. You always have to make sure who's going to be doing what, especially because it's not like there's one or two. One once you get up to like these, you know, 300 drop jobs, that's whatever they need done, especially let's say a hundred of them need to have an extra patch cable or a hundred of them need some extra labor because they want a label to match what's on the wall to match the cubicle, no problem. That's just an extra label. But you start multiplying that times 100, now you have a hundred extra labels to make and everything has a time. Time is money in this, well, any business. And those are things you have to build for. But uh, like I said, leave comments below of other things you'd like to see on here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film any of the actual racking of the servers and migrating for their um, from their old location to this location. That's a little bit trickier because by then there'll be people in the office and filming with a bunch of people in the office is a little bit difficult versus when we're there filming, when we're just doing it for, you know, new construction. Well, that's just wandering around new construction building and well, there's no one else there. So it makes it a lot easier, which is also why we like working after hours. We're not tripping over anyone else. Uh, but like I said, thanks and leave comments, concerns over in the forums. I always like to have a discussion and what more you like to see on this. Thanks. Yeah. Me box. It's a, it's a, this is where we put kids that are. <laughs> you gotta put the computer in here. This thing. Near me. I know. This is where he's, this is gonna be his new gaming room. What? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.